You a musician? Mm hmm Getting my master's at CCPA. The conservatory. Impressive. You follow my finger for me, all right? I don't mean to scare you, but becoming a doctor was actually my fallback plan. I wanted to be a musician, a violinist, in fact. I don't have a fallback plan. Music's all I ever wanted to do. You see, that's what I was missing. I've got a recital next month, all Bach program. Maybe you can come. Sure, I'd love to. She's not gonna do the surgery, at least not until she's given the recital. You told her those tumors might kill her first. Hearing and being heard, it's how Dylan interacts with the world. She can't imagine her life without that ability. She needs more time to process all of this. She doesn't have more time. I don't know what to tell you. It's not our decision to make. I don't believe this. I, I miss something with one patient, and it's too late to fix it. Then I catch something like this early on, and I still can't fix it. Nat, the medicine is clear. The patient should not be making this decision. I should. So you became a doctor to tell people what to do? I became a doctor to save people's lives. It's all I've ever wanted to do. I don't have a fallback plan or some hidden passion. This is it for me. Is there anyone you'd like to call? Maybe Grace's father or... I wouldn't know who to call. You don't know who the father is? It's not so much a matter of who, it's more which. There were a couple guys, but you know, it doesn't even matter because they all bailed when I told them I was pregnant, so... And then my parents, they thought I should terminate because, you know, a baby needs a father. But, uh, no. No, I just, I couldn't. So here we are. It's two of us. Just doing the best we can. Not only retinal hemorrhages, but we also found a subdural hematoma and cerebral edema. The classic diagnostic triad. This is a case of shaken baby syndrome. Is there any other caregiver in the baby's life? A nanny? Her father? Nope. She did this. I told you I didn't hurt her. I know. I am very sorry. We all are. You people are horrible. Miss Fisher, please understand, we were following hospital protocol. Whenever there's a case of suspected abuse, we have to take it seriously. You started judging me the second I walked in here. How did you end up in that alley, Erica? Why did you leave your baby there? I don't know. I mean, I knew something was going on inside me, but I figured if I could just not think about it, then maybe... I'm so stupid. She's 14 years old, a kid. She's scared, alone. What about the family? Her mother's in prison, father's long gone. She does have an older sister living in Champaign, though. I left a message. Here's the thing, she was two blocks away. Two blocks, I and mean, maybe she was trying to make it here. Is that what she said? She clamped the umbilical cord. She did not mean to harm that baby. Right, put him in a backpack, leave him in an alley. That'll keep him safe. It's not that cut and dry. She was delirious. She left her baby to die. It's exactly that cut and dry. She's a child. She wasn't ready for any of this, right? People come here for help. I try to leave my feelings out of it. Well, that's convenient. Where's my sister? Follow me. There were some complications with the birth, but we think the baby's gonna be fine. You think? It's still very early, but we have the best neonatal ICU in the Midwest. I could take you up to see him if you want. Maybe later. I spoke to a social worker. It might be possible for Erica and the baby to come live with you. Let me talk to her. You ready to see your nephew? I wish I could help them. Kara, I just got a promotion, customer service rep, and my boyfriend and I are talking about us moving in together. I've come too far to get sucked back into this crap again. They're your family. You make that sound like a good thing. Griffin? <laughs> Griffin? What did you do? Nothing! Blood pressure spiking, heart's racing. Get away from your brother. I didn't do anything! Oh, oh sweetie, it's okay. Mommy's here. Mommy's here, mommy's here. Heart rate, BP's coming down. <laughs> What's happening to Mom? He's terrified. The fear response is an involuntary reflex. Even though he's heavily medicated, he's aware he's in danger. DCFS recommended that 
Griffin be separated from the family. Good. No, the Taylors aren't going to do it. What? I don't understand. They saw. Heart will not accept what the eye can see. Willful blindness, right? I'm afraid this is not going to end well. Mrs. Taylor? Uh, sorry, I'm going up to see Bo. I heard about your decision. Okay, it, it's a phase. He'll grow out of it. You have to protect Bo. Do you have children? A son. And, um, what would you do? Would you send him away? It's too soon to tell. Oh, we have her on dialysis. That'll take over the function of her liver. Is her daughter dying? Uh, no. No, she's not. With dialysis, she will stabilize, and her labs shouldn't prove. Unfortunately, uh, um, the damage to her liver could be permanent. She may need a transplant. Oh my god, a liver transplant? Another operation. She's been through so much. I know. I know, but Haley's a fighter. I've seen these things turn around. We're not giving up. She could pull out of this. I did something today that I shouldn't have. I have a patient, an 11-year-old girl, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. I'm treating her for some time now. Her name's Haley. She came back in today in acute liver failure with acute cerebral edema. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Abrams put in a ventricular drain. We've got her on liver dialysis waiting for a transplant. Sounds about right. This, on top of her lymphoma, I mean, she is in very bad shape, Dr. Charles. Like, and I told her parents that she could pull out of it, that I've seen it happen before. Haven't you? I, I gave them hope, and I don't think there is any. Do you really know that, though? I didn't give them an honest assessment, though. I let my feelings get in the way because I so much want Haley to pull through. That I didn't act professionally. I didn't prepare them to. Nah, you can't torture yourself. Really hard drawing these lines, you know? When do we know who we become too involved? At the very least, you can't fault yourself with caring. You know? I don't think Haley's parents would want anything less. Right? Yeah. Chalky milk! It's okay, baby. We'll get you some chalky. Uh, the chocolate milk never came? <sighs> the cafeteria was out, and he won't drink the plane. Well, you can't fault a kid for knowing what he likes. Well, is there something else that he likes? <sighs> graham crackers. When I get home at night, all he wants is chocolate milk and graham crackers. It's hard not to give in when it's late and I'm tired. Let me go see what I can find. Uh, you said he's picky at night. Is he better during the day? I'm pretty sure he eats other things. Pretty sure? He has a couple sitters, the neighbor's kid, the woman upstairs. It's possible they're not as firm as they ought to be. I can't afford daycare. I understand. Um, I want to send a nurse in to draw blood for one more test. Did you find anything? We did. Based on Troy's limited diet, we checked his vitamin C levels. The results show a significant deficiency. Well below normal. Troy has scurvy. It's what's causing his symptoms. I don't understand. Scurvy, isn't that something sailors used to get? It was, historically. Uh, uh, anybody with prolonged dietary deficiencies is susceptible. How is that possible? We were surprised, too. It's not something we see. It's been all but eradicated in developed countries because it's easily preventable with a balanced diet. You mean he's sick because of what he eats? More like what he doesn't eat. It's a parent's job, Miss Bolin, to make sure their children get nutritious foods. Excuse this me? This never should have happened. You should have been monitoring Troy's diet. That's easy for you to say. You know nothing about my life. I work two jobs to support my son. I am gone from 6 a.m. to 8 at night. You have no right to judge. I would do anything to protect him. Excuse me. Please explain the course of treatment. Nat, where are you going? NICU. Baby dose stats are in the 70s. 
put him on ECMO. That's the last resort. I'm sorry, but I need this tank. What the hell are you doing? I have no other option. You Give do. me that tank. Nah, my patient will die without it. You're putting the baby at risk. I'm not going to lose this guy. Well, he's got three kids. Try thinking like a doctor and not a pregnant woman. 